Hi, everyone. All right, so this is our last math lesson together, and we thought that it would be very fun um, because we learned about shapes this um, last week. We wanted to give you the time to create a shape monster. And so here I put a picture of all of the different shape monsters that I found. Um, I found this cool picture online, and I thought it would be a great inspiration for everyone. So you can either decide to do it on Seesaw or you can do it on a piece of paper at home. If you have a piece of paper and you wanna color it, you can do that as well because sometimes it's not very um, helpful to do it on Seesaw. It's sometimes it's, uh, it hurts or it's not, um, it's not the best way, right? And so I gave you that option. So on the second page here, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see all of these different shapes. We have a circle, a rectangle, a star, a heart, a triangle, and a square. And you can use these shapes to create your own monster, or you can, you can use these shapes and you can add more, right? So if you go to the three dots on the side, left side of your page, it says shapes. And then there you can see all of the different shapes that you have. We want to try our best to use all of the shapes that we've learned about and maybe some more if you want to add some different details. Um, so we're going to have the teachers share their shape monster with us. And go ahead, Miss T, you can be first and share your shape monster. Hey, I named my monster too. So I, I try to use all the shapes to challenge myself. And I was inspired by the little Christmas tree. So I put the star on the top and then I noticed that it has a little triangle spot there. So I just put the triangle underneath mm -hmm. and then I use a rectangle for the body, mm -hmm. then a square for the bottom and then up two other rectangles. Um, you can send them to the back if you, um, if you know how to do that, you can try that. But you can send them to the back to kind of angle it. Mm -hmm. And then I put the two circles as hands. And then I called it the tree chur because it's kind of like a teacher. Oh, monster. that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Don't forget the heart because we have really nice big hearts, you know. <laughs> And if you notice, I can, when you are using your tree, you can move your shapes around, you can change the colors. So I see here that Miss T um, used all of these um, shapes that we had available. And like she said, you can send some images to the back or to the front. So you go to the three dots here, and then it says order, and you can bring it to the front so that the, tr the star is on top of the um, triangle or you can keep it to the back. So if it's in the back, however you choose. And you can also change the colors of the shapes. So if Miss T wanted the rectangle to be a different color and not um, blue, she can make it pink, right? However Ooh. she likes, um, or however I like, I guess, since I'm the one <laughs> doing it for her. Um, so I can change it around and then send the images to the back or rotate them. Let's see, there's so many cool things that you can do here. So feel free to play around. You can add a background. You can either, you can even make it lighter or transparent. See, it's a little transparent. You can see through it or you can make it dark and then bring it to the back. And then she has a heart and you can change the size too right so she made her small and i can make it a red heart she put it right there oops you have to send it to the front bring to the front and then there it is and then her last it was a square or another rectangle miss t a square sorry i drew that one not so well but i try to use all the shapes oh i love it square and then she did two circles for the little hands perfect i love her beautiful tree -cher. <laughs> and i'm going to write the name tree chair <laughs> right up here for us oops all right miss hernandez do you want to share your shape Sure. So I created a monster out of a triangle Ooh. and I named her Triggy. <laughs> Triggy. I, I named her Triggy. So, so she's a big triangle. She's got heart for her eyes because she looks at everyone and everything with love. 
Oh, I love it. <laughs> and she's got two stars on her for her hands. Two stars. And then rectangular teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. And then she has two rectangle legs, and that puts circles at the bottom for wheels so she can whirl around. Oh, I love it. And it's tricky. So here is our body of Miss Hernandez's beautiful tree um, star monster. And then the arms. Remember, you can rotate them. And see what else you can come up with. And I know that there are, oops, I'm gonna actually copy this. And they're gonna be holding hands. Vivian <laughs> <laughs> friends. Yeah. And then the star was the hands. The hands. Oh, right. Ooh. Hands. And then heart eyes. Let me bring that to the front. And so it's really nice that we get to do all of this and create. You can be as creative as you'd like. Take time to do this, right? We want to have fun at our last activity. And then we have our rectangles. Mm -mm. Rectangular legs. And then there you go. And then send those to the back, or we can bring this on board. No, because it goes with the eyes. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Mm -mm -mm. And then lastly, I'm just going to do the cute circle feet. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute. And you can draw. So I know it was really hard for me to figure out how to make that mouth that Miss Hernandez had, that half circle. So you can also add drawing. So you can use your marker, any marker you'd like, and create that half circle with the teeth, right? <laughs> that is cute. And then the eyes. Oh, yes, the eyes. The eyeballs eyeballs that is awesome <laughs> and then we want to put our name her name is Triggy for triangle oopsie this one i want to delete all right and last but not least miss rosales what was the um shape monster that you created so i'm just going to tell you mine's um if miss t was full on the shapes on there miss hernandez did a hybrid mm -hmm. Yours is going to have to be freelance here. All right. And wow. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Aww. All right. I will draw it and I'm going to use grayish. There we go. All right. And so I see that she has a one, two, three, four, five pentagon. I'm going to try my best. And you can draw yours too. Remember, you do not have to use the... um. The shapes that we provided, you can use any shape by drawing. So then we have the body. And then I see some squares or rhombuses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rhombus. Mm -mm -mm. And then I see triangles as ears and then little hair, just like an oval shape. And then some lines with our rectangle rectangular or square eyes, triangle, oop, wrong way, triangle nose, and then a rectangular, and then triangle teeth for fangs, okay. and then we have our little legs. And I love how Miss Rosales showed a bent leg by two rectangles, right? And then are these trapezoids? Yes. Nice. So we have all of these different shapes that we are learning about and we're using them in our art. Try my most. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> all good. right. And then that's our friend Leo, who reminds me of my own cat. Leo. Identical. <laughs> were you inspired? Yes, I was. It's a homage. 
This is the last time, last video. It is our last math video. So we cannot wait to see all of your amazing um, shape monsters. Remember, be creative. You can even add a background. And I know a lot of my friends have added a background. You can do rainbows. You can do lines. Let's do this little ocean view. It looks for oh, wow. ocean. Ooh, nice. <laughs> the sunset and the water. So be creative. Have fun. Take your time with this. It's a fun activity for you to do. Have fun, everyone. And we love you. And we're going to miss you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.